more beautiful day I don't think we could have chosen for the groundbreaking of Utah's first anaerobic digester. This collaborative effort we see on exhibit here today is really how we will find success. We can have sustainable, affordable, cleaner energy and technology and innovation is driving that and we see this here with Wasatch Resource Recovery. We're going to diminish our landfill volumes, we're going to produce new natural gas through methane and fertilizer. It is win, win, win all the way around. I think that about three million cubic feet of methane a day, instead of being vented from landfills or having to be treated, will now be captured and used as a renewable and clean fuel. This really sets a standard for what we can do when we work together to create those changes, to bring forward those innovations that the governor has talked about to realize both an advancement in our energy an advancement in our air quality and true economic growth and the continued opportunity for prosperity in this state. Hi, I'm Rob Simmons, the Deputy Director of the Governor's Office of Energy Development. And I'm here at this very active construction site where Utah's first anaerobic digester will be built. Innovative energy partnerships like Wasatch Resource Recovery will bring tremendous value, both economic and environmental, to Utah. This remarkable project converts enormous amounts of food waste into a sustainable source of energy. It produces enough power to supply a city the size of Bountiful. Now let's go talk to some of the team members who are responsible for this amazing project. Well, Bruce and Morgan, uh, thanks so much for uh, spending some time with us today to talk about this great project. As you know, uh, Governor Herbert and the state of Utah are trying to find innovative solutions uh, to help us drive both our economic and environmental goals. So what are some of the, uh, the innovation and, and some of the technologies involved in the process? We will have several re receiving stations, but when it comes to you know food waste that's coming from a restaurant or grocery store, what will happen is the trucks will come in, they'll dump it on the ground, and we'll get it into a, a sort of a grinding machine that will chop it all up, shred it up, and then it'll go into basically what we see as a giant Vitamix. Secondary water will come into it, mix with that water and it'll get all mixed up and become sort of this gross chocolate milk looking slurry. And then that'll get fed right on into the digester. The digester will be heated up and the little microorganisms that are already naturally occurring within that food will, will be aided in their growth and as they grow and, and digest and eat that food waste, they'll off-gas the methane, we'll be able to capture that methane compress it and put it in the pipeline. And tell me a little about the jobs that might be created through this project. Yeah, we're estimating about 30 jobs will be created directly. Indirectly, there's a lot of driver positions potentially that can be created, et cetera. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, and what were some of the key partners uh, that helped make this project possible? We will have a, a waste component of our plant that needs to be treated. We can work in conjunction with the South Davis Sewer District to uh, solve that problem. This type of project has never been done in Salt Lake or in the Utah Valley before. So we needed help from the governor's office and a number of key legislatures to pass legislation, which we did two years ago, to allow this type of structure, this type of ownership structure and split of shares of cost and, and profits down the road. What are some downsides, if any, of this project? There are no downsides. We haven't found any. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't go bury a, an oil field in your backyard, and that's kind of what we're doing. We're, we're burying a, an energy source that, uh, that, that certainly has much better, better use anywhere else than, than being buried in the ground. Innovative energy projects like this drive not only Utah's energy economy, but also supports Utah's environmental goals. The Governor's Office of Energy Development supports the type of unprecedented partnerships and innovation that make these projects possible. To learn more and to connect with us, please visit us at energy.utah.gov.